I'm in Accenture office today where I'm going to be scanned for the event we're going to do in the upcoming accelerator of ABB in May uh, in Shanghai, in China. The idea behind what we're going to do today is something going to be very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to be in the office. They're going to scan me uh, using a bunch of cameras uh, and with using different uh, techniques uh, and quite, uh, quite an, an interesting technology. I'm being put into the metaverse uh, using one of those uh, interesting VRs, uh, VR headsets. Uh, and uh, trying to le learn how we can actually interact with people in a different way. Come with me. Yes, so Luca, there is a lot of light in this room. What are we doing here? Definitely. Um, hope you don't go blind. <laughs> Hopefully not, yeah. But um, yeah, basically, you just need to hold still now uh, quite a long time. That's why we also have those rests here for the hand, mm -hmm. the tripods. So you have a little bit of more stabi stabi stability. And then you basically need to focus also with your eyes just on one point the whole time. So you really move as little as possible. And um, what I'm going to do is just move around you around five times, take like 120 to 150 pictures of you. And um, this, this will basically then generate a point cloud of you, which we then turn into a 3D model in the post-productions. I was slightly smiling, I rose up. So basically we need to capture also a little bit of emotions. Most of the time the people doing the post-production don't know the, the person that, that, uh, from whom we create the avatar from, how he acts and how he is in real life basically. So this, this really helps us a lot in, in creating the avatar. That's what it looks like. I take those um, cloud images, uh, point cloud images, and uh, send them to my colleagues, uh, 3D artists in Kronberg. And they are going to smooth out all the imperfections on, on those models. Also with the reference photos that we took, with all the emotions, and then finish the metal human. And now the moment has come. Let's see what the final result looks like. Hello everyone and welcome wherever you are in the world. I'm Shai Davidovich and I'll be guiding you through uh, today's session on engineer to outrun the next frontier of innovation. I really enjoyed the entire process, uh, all the way from creating the uh, the avatar to running the panel. Uh, I've played with uh, VR quite a lot in my personally for me with games uh, before, uh, but being part of this project, being part of the the, the experience itself uh, was something really really fun to do. I think that we were sitting there in a panel and we have uh, some of the participants joining from across the world uh, having a conversation with us. Uh, for me, it was a very new experience, uh, a bit awkward in the beginning. But the more time uh, passed by, the more I felt very comfortable uh, in the setup um, and understanding that, you know, this, this is how can, things can look in the future uh, for all of us uh, when we're talking about virtual reality, virtual worlds, uh, and how it's going to affect the way we're doing our work.